Hello, I'm going to show you how you can make a very simple HTML progress bar using CSS3 and a bit of JavaScript. So for this, first I'm going to show you how you can find my blog where all this is written in a blog post. So simple. And there it is, the first one. And we have here all the necessary code. We All we have to do is just copy and paste. And that's it. And I'm just, uh, I'm gonna show you now how easy that is. So for that I'm gonna create a file new project. I'm going to make a very simple web application HTML. We're going to name it HTML progress bar Okay, now the application is done, we're going to test it Just to see that everything is okay Okay, I'm gonna use this about page to insert the drop down uh, code. So for this, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna just copy and paste this HTML. So here we have a div which is a container and we have a, another div which is uh, the fill of the progress bar. So we're gonna need the classes. So for this I'm gonna add just to keep things uh, more separate. I'm gonna add a CSS file. There it is. Name it progress bar. Again, go here. Copy paste the code. And if we look here, we will see that we have the initial height and width of the progress bar. We have the border, we have some border radius, which is for all uh, three browsers. And we have some gradient fill. Here also we have a gradient fill and some ra radius border. I'm gonna save this. I'm also gonna need some JavaScript, and this is an inline JavaScript. If we look here in this picture, it should be like this inline JavaScript. Copy this. Type equals JavaScript. What this is is a function that will be called by this button. When this button is clicked, this function will be called. It will instantiate the progress bar with the given parameters which are the ID of the container in the progress field. We set the minimum and the maximum values. In this case, I only treat values from zero to whatever, positive values. We're gonna take the value that we, we are gonna insert in this input text box. 
and based on that I'm gonna we the script will calculate the width of the progress bar fill and animate this value and now I'm gonna create the script for this add new item script I'm gonna copy this and there it is here we will see that this function which actually this is the main function so we see that this function contains the ID ID of the field minimum and maximum and it will calculate using this get width it will calculate and return us the correct width for the current value close this because I'm using this ease out cubing I'm gonna have to also download and uh, add a new jQuery script which is uh, jQuery uh, easing so I'm gonna go here to Google and there it is it is I don't know if it's 1.4 but it's I think it's 1.3 there it is yes and we download this one yes item this is just another way to make this okay I'm gonna select all paste it here yes now we should add these uh, links links to the scripts and to style file to our HTML page so I'm gonna start with the most important jQuery then the jQuery easing then the progress bar script and then our style alright I think everything is complete we have the script we have the classes so let's run it and there it is looks nice I'm gonna close this I'm gonna set the value and there it is 30, 50, 80, 99, 100 so see how fast and easy it is to make one progress bar using CSS3 and a bit of JavaScript thank you bye bye